next uh, sting in the tail will be the ITM Subaru. Very light on the suspension, on the uh, EXT suspension in the Hyundai. He's already the fastest man on the hill. Can he win the shootout as well? 159. Now Hayden is about to make history because as everyone knows that's followed motorsport over the last year or two, Hayden and his big team down in the South Island have been developing a Hyundai EV. Well, he's got it here today after a fair bit of testing, it's going to make its competitive debut here on the Horsepower Hill brought to you by Mount Shop, part of the Waimati 50 Gravel Edition. There's definitely a bit of nerves this morning, um, not really for driving as such, probably more so nerves for us as a team because you know so much work and sweat and tears have gone into this and to have it officially competing was a, was a pretty cool mo uh, milestone actually so um, cool to get two runs out of the way now, no dramas at all uh, but learning a lot about the car, it's, um, you know, we've never been on a road with so much elevation change so we're learning a lot of new things today and um, yeah, we've just got to keep getting the data out of it and keep trying to develop the car now over the, over the next two days. After years of development, simulations and computer readouts, the acid test would be performance. How would the Hyundai Kona EV perform? Oh, exactly. At the end of the day, you still got to get in there, you got to drive it hard. You, um, and, you know, that's probably what's caught us by surprise in the last six months is just how much is different. You know, it's not just the electric motors and the software and the computers. The way the chassis is working is completely different as well. But we're starting to get a pretty good understanding of that now. And now we're trying to sort of shift some of our attention towards the software and how we can actually get the car performing. A true adventure into the unknown. Even starting the car is a whole new experience. Yeah, there's a few buttons in there. I know to start it, it's like starting up a bloody uh, airplane or something. There's so many buttons and things, I don't know what half of them do, but uh, once you go and you just worry about the steering wheel and the throttle pedal. With some pushback worldwide over the future of EVs, it's no surprise that it's taken as long as it has to come this far on the rally stage. Hayden and his team are writing history. Oh, this is only the start. Um, you know, we know there's so much more performance in it. Like at the moment, we're only running at about 60% power just to try and manage a lot of the motor attempts um, you know we've got a few compromises at the moment with our prototype battery so we're waiting on our main battery um, the sky's the limit with this car at the moment so that's the exciting thing um, for it to come out of the box and be competitive straight away is, is promising uh, but there's just so so much more left in it and um, you know we're just got to keep chipping away at it it's not going to be a five minute process we've got to be patient a lot of trial and error um, and even this weekend hopefully we should be able to make some gains by the time we get to the end of the event even servicing takes on a whole new look as well no reaching for the fuel can it's volts the teams are after yeah, at the moment we're just charging, uh, as I said, this is only the small battery, so we are just doing a little top-up charges after every run, just so we've got the, the best performances we can. Um, but long term, you know, we'll probably move towards using hydrogen as a way to charge it, uh, especially when we get to rallies and we need to be remotely doing top-up charges where you normally do your refills. Um, and the, the, now in Europe, our suppliers are starting to do 8 to 10-minute fast charges. So, you know, all of a sudden that's a bit of a game-changer. You start getting the same sort of range as a rally car, then all of a sudden you're almost on par. Anyone who has driven a high-performance EV is always surprised by the acceleration. The Kona is no different. Yeah, well, it gets up and go, you know, even at 60% power. So, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing what it can do. Um, you sit back and enjoy it, for sure. You always want more uh, as a driver. Uh, but certainly it's just so much more tunable and where we, where we can have the power. While happy with their early performance, the team is always searching for more from the driver and the car. Yeah, we, we definitely need to find more speed up the top. Uh, I think up to the first half we're pretty good. Uh, second half and on the top we're losing a lot of time, uh, just simply because we're so far down on power when we get by the time we get up there. So we're trying to find a way at the moment to reverse that in the, in the programming of the car to see if we can compromise a bit more down the bottom and then really try and get the power up the top because you know it's, that's where the time is up there if you can keep, keep the speed. Um, so there's a lot more time in it. We just we don't know quite how to get the time yet, so we've just got to keep doing a trial on a few things and uh, see what we uh, fall upon. Yeah, we'll get there. We, we enjoy a challenge. Here is the man of the moment. This is Hayden Padden. Hayden, you decided to sit out the last qualifying. Was that because you were confident or was that because you were fiddling with the car? Oh, no, we're just trying a lot of things. There's a lot of things we're learning with it. So, uh, yeah, the car's certainly capable of a lot more, but we're just not quite sure how to extract it at the moment. But, hey, we're collecting a lot of data, a lot of stuff, and... Yeah, there's a lot more in it, so if we can try and find a way of unlocking some of it in this run, then hopefully we can have a better time. So the last run for the Hyundai Kona EV, Hayden Padden at the wheel, a one in a generation driver. A lot of people have said that as well as me. Five times the New Zealand Rally Champion, 2016 outright winner of the WRC in Argentina. That year he finished fourth driving for the Hyundai factory team. 
Here he is pushing his own barrel, if you like. This is a car that he and his team have developed from, well, sketches on a napkin in a pub, perhaps. It is the competitive debut of the Hyundai Kona EV rally car. And Hayden Patton, look at that, just looks as dispassionate as ever, just getting about his work as he heads down towards the lorry forestry hairpin. The only one, as I said, under the two-minute mark, 159.76 in round number six. He sat out round number seven. Were they making changes to the car, or was he satisfied that no one could go quicker? Perfect execution of the hairpin that time around, and that will mean he will carry the speed as he heads to the steepest part of the racetrack, 159.26 to beat. A 159.92 we've just seen from Matt Penrose. John Spencer knocking on the 201s. This is going to be oh so close. Last man to go, fastest man on the racetrack, heading towards the Ellerslie Farms Proctor Park. The spectator area here, nice and tight, keeps it in tight as he heads downhill once again. All concentration as he works the first of the blind crest as the next uh, sting in the tail will be the ITM Subaru. Very light on the suspension, on the uh, EXT suspension in the Hyundai. And on to the Harcourt's Adams Corner. Are we going to see a faster clocking than the 159.76? He's already the fastest man on the hill. Can he win the shootout as well? 159.76 to get here. The finish line is in sight. He crosses the McEwen finish line. 158.38. He goes even quicker. That is the Hayden pattern we all know so well. So Patton goes to the top of the charts at 158.38, pays 159.92 from Matt Penrose. Job well done for the top three. Oh, all in all, really, really good. Um, you know, I think we, we obviously knew it was always going to be tough uh, for the first time with a, an electric car and a whole new uh, atmosphere and environment for us. So uh, super proud of the team and the boys. You know, there's a lot of heart and sweat and tears that have gone into this project. We started from a blank piece of paper and we still got so much to learn about this car and how to extract the most from it. So to come away with a win on debut, it's just a huge credit, I think, to everyone that's been part of this project so far. The gravel edition of the Waimani 50 is back for 2022. Some of New Zealand's best drivers will tackle four kilometres of tight forest, blind crest and wide open throttle as they get airborne in the race to the White Horse. Join us in the South Island for the Mount Shop Horsepower Hill Climb. Labor Weekend 21st to the 23rd of October. For tickets and event information, check out waimate50.co.nz.